Today we're talking about Premiere Pro Secrets from number 10 up to 15. If you haven't seen the first two episodes, be sure to watch them as well. And as always, I'm curious how many you knew about already, so let me know down in the comment section. Let's do it! You can drag and drop TXT file in the project panel and double click to open it. Very useful to add notes for yourself or your collaborators. It's not possible to import it in a regular way even if you have all supported files selected. For some reason you need to drag and drop, otherwise it wouldn't be a secret, right? By default when you drag a transition on the cut it's applied to both clips, even if it looks like it's only on one side. To apply a transition to only one side of the cut for real, you just need to hold Ctrl or Command. That's it. Backslash key lets us zoom out to see the entire timeline in the view. But there is another shortcut that does the opposite and zooms into the frame level. It's not mapped to any key combination by default, so to do it I just go to Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts and type Zoom to Frame in the search area. I will map this shortcut to Alt plus Backslash. This way it will be easy to switch between zooming out to the timeline and zooming in to the frame levels. Here I have a clip to which I applied one of the effects from Essential Motion Pack. By the way, to download it for free, make sure to watch my previous video. If I navigate to the Effect Controls panel to modify keyframes, I can see the whole sequence here. This is a real pain in the ass, especially for long sequences. To narrow down this timeline section to the duration of the selected clip, we go to the hamburger menu at the top of the panel and we choose Pin to Clip. And now we can deal with the keyframes more precisely, focusing on the clip rather than the whole sequence. When you have linked selection active, you can edit only a specific layer of the clip holding Alt or Option key. But did you know that you can do the same in the Source Monitor panel? If I Alt drag in or out point here, I can adjust it separately for video and audio of the source clip. A great way to create an L cut or J cut. Now go ahead and watch the whole Premiere Pro Secret series if you haven't seen it yet and if you're regular here and you like what you see, consider joining my Patreon supporters. A few new perks coming soon, for example, a trial of premium version of my favorite tool for sound effects. It was Peter, until the next time, shoot and edit like you know real Premiere Pro Secrets.